Now, in this question, we've got to complete this tree diagram where essentially we've got two bags, bag P and bag Q. The bag P contains six balls of which three are red and three are yellow. And the bag Q contains seven balls of which four are red and three are yellow. And we're told that a ball is drawn at random from bag P and placed in bag Q. And then a second ball is drawn at random from bag P and placed in bag Q. And finally, a third ball is then drawn at random from the nine balls in bag Q. Now we've got a couple of events defined here, A and B, but we don't actually need them in this particular part of the question. We've just got to complete the tree diagram shown. So, first of all, we've got our sections here. Okay, the first section is about drawing from bag P. So I'm just going to write this in, not that we have to. And the second section is also about drawing a ball from bag P. And finally, the third section here is all about drawing a ball from bag Q. Now, first of all then, we're told that the probability of drawing a red from bag P is a half. But really we've got six balls in bag P, three of which are red. So the probability of drawing a red is just going to be three out of six balls, which clearly is a half. And similarly, the probability of drawing a yellow ball out of bag P is really three yellow balls out of six. Three out of six, which is a half. Now we've now got to go on to filling in these two values here. So what is the probability of picking out a red then when we've already picked out a yellow out of bag P? Well, there's going to be just three reds in the bag, because we haven't picked out a red, three reds out of five balls. And that would mean that since these two must add up to one, this has got to be two fifths. So we now move on to this third column here. And what I've got here is to work out the probability that we pick out a red from bag Q. Now remember that before this we picked out a red, picked out another red, so we've now placed two reds into bag Q. And bag Q originally had seven balls in, but now we've put two more reds in, so we've now got a total of nine balls here, so it's going to be out of nine, so we just put that out of nine. But how many reds have we got in the bag? Well, there were originally four reds. We've placed two reds in, so that means we've got a total of six out of nine there. You could reduce this down to two thirds if you divide top and bottom by three, so we've got two thirds there. And that would mean because these two probabilities must add up to one, this has got to be one third. Similarly, we've got five ninths here. These two probabilities must add up to one whole one, so that's got to be four ninths. I'm not going to stop around and try and work out that probability by taking uh, the reds and the yellows. Similarly, this pair here must add up to one, so this is going to be four ninths. Now for these two, all I need is just to work out one of them, and I'm going to work out where we've taken a yellow and a yellow from bag P and place two yellows now into bag Q. So clearly it's going to be out of nine because we had added two more balls to bag Q, but they are two yellows. So we had originally three yellows in bag Q, we're now up to five yellows, so that's got to be five ninths. So knowing these two add up to one, this has got to be four ninths. All right, so there's our tree diagram completed. Okay, well that's the first part of this question done to complete the tree diagram. Now there are further parts to this question which uh, you can see if you are on my website looking at this particular paper. Okay, 